What's up, everybody? My name is Justin. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mona, and I'm back at it again today with another tutorial for you. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to migrate to our new Mona starter template inside of Unity. We've made some significant changes to the ways that we're asset bundling the scenes that you're gonna be uploading to the Mona Playground to test and ultimately how you'll upload to Mona when you're ready to go with your space. So today I'm just gonna walk you through how to adjust to those changes and migrate everything you're doing in the current Mona starter template over to the new one. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Unity in the old version of the space starter template. What we're gonna do is export all the work that you've done here into a Unity asset package that we're then going to import into the new version of the Space Starter template. So your hierarchy should look like this, where you have the Mona template scene, you have the space prefab, within which you have scene objects, artifacts, and portals. With scene selected, you're gonna to go to Assets, Export Package. Here's your Export Package window where it has everything selected that's going to be exported to bring into the new scene. Now pay close attention to this part because we're gonna actually deselect some of these items as we won't need them since they're included in the new template already. So first you're gonna deselect editor, so you won't need that. And then you're also going to go down to scripts and you're going to deselect scripts since you won't need those. And that's it. Now you're going to make sure include dependencies is checked and you're going to click export. You're going to select the folder you want to export to and name your unity package file. I'm just going to call this space starter tutorial, save. Okay, now we're gonna navigate to github.com slash monaverse slash space starter. This link is gonna be in the description below. This is just our Mona GitHub page where we have the space starter template hosted. We've updated this now, so you can go to code, download, zip. That's gonna download. Now I'm gonna navigate to my downloads folder, locate that zip folder, extract all, and I'm gonna select the folder I'd like to save this to. And I'll just make a new folder here. And I'm gonna save it here. Inside my Unity Hub, I'm gonna click add I'm gonna find that Space Starter main folder that I just saved. I'm gonna double click that, select folder. That's gonna add it here to my projects. I'm gonna select that to open it up. Okay, so now we've opened the updated Space Starter template in Unity. Your first step is gonna to navigate to your scenes folder and you're gonna open up the space scene. Next, what you're gonna do is load the artifacts and portal scenes additively to the space scene. This is super easy. To do this, you're just gonna click on artifacts, drag and drop into the hierarchy like so. Then you're gonna click on portals, drag and drop right into the hierarchy like so. And now you have three scenes all loaded at the same time, space, artifacts, and portals. I'm just gonna save that. You'll see we've made a couple of changes to the Space Starter template. To get everyone started, we've actually just added an additional artifact prefab and portal prefab, just so you can see the sort of naming conventions we're using to keep everything organized. So when you add multiple, art so when you add multiple artifacts to your scene, each one will have a new number at the end of whatever you're naming it. So we have artifact prefab and artifact prefab two portals prefab and portals prefab too. So each time you wanna make a new one of these, you're actually just gonna click, right click, and you'll duplicate it. And then you can change the name there. I'm gonna undo that. 
So this is how the layout should be for your new Space Starter template. And this is gonna be our starting point. So we're gonna save that. Our next step is to import the Unity package with all of the content that you've been making in the old version of the template. So we're gonna right click in the assets window. We're gonna import package, custom package. Now we're gonna to navigate to wherever you saved your Unity package. Right here's mine, Space Starter Tutorial. I'm gonna click Open. So it's gonna load up your Unity package. And now all you have to do is click Import. And now you'll see it'll import the scene we were working on in the old template right into our new template here. Okay, so this part is super important. You're gonna navigate in your assets window to your space folder. You're gonna double click on that and you're gonna select that space prefab and you're gonna go down to where it says asset bundle space. Click on this drop down menu and make sure to select none. So for that space prefab asset bundle should say none and I'm gonna show you why. The way we have this set up, now we're asset bundling the actual scenes instead of the prefab. This is gonna allow you to do some really important things like save light maps to the actual scene asset bundle so that all of your baked lighting comes through uh, inside of Mona. So to show you this, actually, if you go down to scenes folder inside of assets, scenes, double click, now you have a space scene that should have the label space asset bundle. You have an artifact scene as well, which should also have an artifacts asset bundle. And you have a portals scene, which should have the portals asset bundle tag. Now the next thing that you're gonna have to do, since you imported this Unity package from the old template, the space prefab is now going to have the same settings from that old template that you imported. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure if you have any artifacts that you've imported, you wanna drag any of your artifact prefabs down into the artifacts scene under artifacts. So for example, this scene came with one artifact, the sphere here, it was just the template artifact. To migrate this, what I'm gonna do is actually select this artifact prefab, drag and drop on top of artifacts. And it's gonna give me cannot restructure prefab instance. It's actually gonna ask me to open this prefab, um, but this isn't gonna work for what we wanna do. So here's, here's how to fix this. Click on this arrow to go back. What you're gonna have to do is actually unpack this space prefab first. So you wanna select space, right click, Prefab, unpack. Now that's just unpacked that space prefab. Now, if you go to artifact prefab, you should be able to click and drag and drop onto artifacts like so. And the same goes for portals. Now you can select your portal prefab or prefabs, click and hold and drag down and drop onto portals. So under portals, you should have portal prefabs and under artifacts, you should have artifact prefabs. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that each artifact prefab and each portal prefab, you wanna make sure they all have unique names. So artifact prefab already exists. So this one I would actually name artifact prefab three. And then under here, you'll also notice these names are identical. So under artifact prefab three, you wanna change artifact one to artifact three. And I'm also gonna change this. I'm gonna add a three at the end of that name as well. Then I'm gonna select the artifacts top level prefab and I'm gonna go over, yeah, so you're gonna wanna make sure that has a three as well. And the same goes for portals. So under portals, I'm gonna make sure this portal prefab has a three at the end of it. And you can change this just by clicking on the text. It'll let you edit it. I'm gonna change portal one to portal three as well. And I'm also going to change this. I'm gonna add a three at the end of that. You want all of these 
to have unique names. So it's portal prefab, you have this example object and portal one. Portal prefab two, you have this two and portal two. And portal prefab three, you have this with a three and then portal with a three at the end. You can also, uh, this will be also a very important step back up under your space scene. If you still have these artifacts and portal objects, you're gonna wanna delete these. So I'm gonna select artifacts, right click, delete. I'm gonna select portals, right click, delete. Now I'm gonna go up to file, save. So that's gonna save everything. Now we should be ready to asset bundle all of these scenes and upload them to our Mona playground. So for this step, I'm gonna go to assets, Build Asset Bundles. So next, you're going to navigate to mona.gallery slash playground. You're going to locate your streaming assets folder inside of your Space Starter Main Assets folder. So I'm going to select Streaming Assets. Click and drag, drop right into the playground. That's going to load up. And here we are. Wonderful. Now we've just migrated to the updated Mona Space Starter template and everything is working beautifully. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, please subscribe. We have a ton of great tutorials coming your way. We are so excited. We're almost through with the Filecoin forum. The deadline is about a week away. So if you haven't yet, Check the links in the description, sign up, build an incredible 3D space, and get rewarded by Filecoin, $200,000 in prizes. We have more links in the description below. That's to the uh, mono.gallery slash playground. We also have the link to our Discord. If you haven't joined yet, please come on in. Join our amazing creative community on Discord. If you've already joined, thanks so much for being there. We love that you're part of our community. And we love that we're building this decentralized metaverse with you. If you have any questions at all, always just feel free to ask. Matt, Alex, and I are super active in Discord all day, every day. We're here for you. We're here to help. We are so stoked for what we're building and, and for what you guys are all creating. So thanks so much. And until next time, I'll see you in the Discord. Have a great day.